glass that's filled with water without spilling it? Or make a thing sink then float? Well, today you'll find out in our water trick! And the first thing you need for these water tricks is a hard piece of paper, glass, clay, marbles, a glass bowl, and water. We will pour our water all the way through in our cup. Now get a hard piece of paper and completely cover the water's openings. Now let's get it in our flip it over and kind of wait for a little bit. Wow, it's sealed with air. You see, why does the paper stick to the cup and doesn't fall off? The air pressure forces the card up against the cup. The pressure is strong enough to stop the weight of the water push the card down. Add water into the glass bowl. Now turn your clay, uh, get your clay and roll it into a ball. It sinks. Now let's get our marble and put them in too. They sink too. Get some other clay and make it like a boat. Now let's put our bowl carefully into the bowl. Let's put our marbles in. See how many the boat, how many marbles the boat can hold. Let's add four. On the fourth one, the mar the boat sinks. Mishi, why does the marble and clay sinks at first, then floats? A huge ship is super big and super heavy. But still, a small life object such as a marble sinks. But the weight of the object does not matter. Whether or not something floats depends on how much water it displaces or pushes aside. The clay boat is wide, so it will push aside a lot of water. If you add a lot of marbles on the clay boat, the clay boat will sink. An overloaded boat sinks too if it has a lot of stuff on it. So they always check the weight of it and see if it is under the limit. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel for more upcoming learning